Aloha! I'm in Mallorca! I've never been to Mallorca. Have I been to Mallorca before? I don't know. I'm not sure. Amazing. Great. The only person that would know, she doesn't even know. I might have been here when I was younger, but I've definitely not been to Mallorca. But I was being an adult and we've literally been here about five minutes in the hotel, but you know what I'm like. It's nice and tidy in the room. This angle is hideous. It's nice and tidy in the room right now, so I need to quickly do a room tour before we absolutely just ruin the gorgeous aesthetic. This hotel is gorgeous. I can't even take credit. I'll give a little backstory. But this holiday was supposed to be a really big trip with loads of us, and it ended up just being me, like literally just me. Even my own boyfriend pulled out of this trip. I'll explain properly later but we are now here it's me my nan and ocean because the holiday was gonna go to waste and you know I'm not gonna waste a holiday so I didn't pick this hotel Zelia picked this hotel because she's stayed here before and it is gorgeous so let me give you a room tour before we start this video properly so welcome to the Mallorca vlog and you might be thinking but you've just been to France so I went to France for a long weekend that was like a work trip I was working with the airline so I didn't actually vlog that trip because we literally went for it was supposed to be two days but I extended it to three days just because it was going to be a bit too tiring dragging an ocean all the way there and back in literally I know three days is not much more anyway waffling I didn't vlog the trip we had the best weekend ever honestly I feel like that's always the way it was just insane and I didn't bloody vlog it but I'm gonna vlog this trip so welcome back thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy who knows what we're gonna be up to we just want to have this as like a last hurrah before we chill the hell out and enjoy autumn but oh, let me show you this hotel this mirror nice and big my outfit by the way I just got this new tracksuit from girl knows all Pilates and then just some good old Tyler leggings. I'm gonna do some working out while I'm here as well. So, got plenty of gym wear with me. Big wardrobe, bathroom. I love this open bathroom style. Sink, mirror, nice big shower. I've not actually looked in here. Nice. And then loo. No one cares about that. And then the showstopper. Let's focus a little bit. Is out there. Not specifically my nano notion, the thing around them. And then two beds, lovely vibe of just beachy, just me to a tea, this kind of hotel. And then, Ocean's cotton completely ruins the vibe. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> <sighs> Look at this view. Oh, I can't actually go down anymore because Ocean's when I tell you butt naked, she's butt naked. But here we go. This is why I named my daughter Ocean because I'm obsessed with seeing things like this. So here we go. We've got the big, beautiful blue ocean. And then we've not actually looked around. I genuinely mean it when I say we got here two minutes ago. There's a pool here and then I think there's a pool up here. But surround views of ocean and they are both down here. I'll intro them a little bit later because, like I said, my daughter is butt naked right now, but bless her. We've been up since... I've been up since six. I got her up at seven. And it is currently half five, but we're an hour ahead. So she's she's had a long day. She's had a couple naps, but she's bound to be a little bit tired now. So we just stripped her down, gave her a bottle, and I'm hoping she's going to go for a nap in a sec. And I will catch up with you a little bit later. I need to freshen up. We're going to get our bearings and start this vlog properly. Good morning. Now we can start this vlog properly because it's the next day. I settled in. What is... It's Friday the 15th. And I just... I don't know what it is. I can't properly vlog on the first day. Especially when I've got somewhere in the late afternoon. Because I just feel like a gross, ugly, sweaty mess. But... Obviously I have to do a room tour before, like I said, it gets messy because to be fair, it's not that bad. My nan's very, very neat. If it was me and Cass right now, it would be a little bit of a different situation. Okay, now I can really quickly tell the story. It's not even that exciting, but basically I booked this trip in January and it was supposed to be me, Cass, Aisha, Zelia, 
their partners and their kids. And I was pregnant. It was the first trip I was booking. So it would be, essentially it was like gonna be Ocean's first holiday that was booked. I knew I'd probably squeeze in one before that, but I just wanted to get one booked. They really wanted to do a group holiday. <laughs> And I'm the only one here now. And I was the one that jumped on at the end because Zelia's actually stayed here before. I think I said that yesterday. With Emily. And they love this hotel, which I love anyway because I love a recommendation. So I didn't mind that. But <laughs> obviously the reason they're not here, if you follow the twins, you'll know. Zelia is about to give birth any day. And she literally found out she was pregnant in January after we'd booked the holiday. So <laughs> she obviously had to pull out. And then Aisha was toying with the idea of, of still coming with us, but she doesn't want to miss if her twin sister's given birth, which I completely understand. And also, she didn't realise that she was going to be enrolling Mila into nursery. So Mila has started nursery now, and here I am. But the reason Cass isn't here, I mentioned it in my Lanzarote vlog, is just because he still is four years deep with me and still coming to terms with the fact that I like I literally could go on holiday every single month and as much as he loves holidays he's like said I actually can't <laughs> like I obviously he goes to work I work from home I work anywhere I can work here I can work I have that amazing amazing luxury which I'm so grateful for so he just like I am not gonna come because everyone else has pulled out it kind of makes sense obviously if I really wanted him to come he would have come but he knew that we'd kind of had these conversations around my nan and she was like well well I'll come I'll come and he knew that she would end up being completely fine with coming and um, and like I said before we are going to Dubai soon and we're actually going to Egypt and then we're done it sounds extravagant but that is spread out over the next few months and these have been booked I mean, I don't need to justify myself, but yeah, one of the things in life I like to spend some of my money on is holidays. I just think life's so short. I've lost quite a lot of people in my life and you never regret a holiday. And that's where some of my fondest memories of my family members that are no longer here are taking place on holiday. So yeah, exciting things coming up, but you might have seen me just put on my good old, I need a new one actually, SPF 50, Skin and Me. Skin and Me is my literal ride or die, if you know this by now. I've teamed up with them for this portion of the video, which I love. Thank you so much to Skin and Me. Back to 50 every single day, guys. I love theirs so much. You would have seen as I just blended that out, that it just goes on the skin. It's so nice. I will be completely honest with you. I have had a breakout, which I haven't had in so long and not to waffle too much let's leave this as a holiday vlog but i had my first period since having ocean and also if you follow me and watch my videos you might know that that is my first period in a really really long time because i have polycystic ovaries i haven't actually had a period in technically a couple of years but i did have one because i was on medication to fall pregnant with ocean so that's the first natural period I've had in, I want to say like, it must be pushing three years, which is crazy. And my skin is like, I think my skin's probably like hallelujah, because I know that obviously with a period comes hormonal breakouts, which is so normal. But I'll be honest, they kind of come to a head and they've gone down really quickly because of the right skincare I'm using. I feel like if I wasn't putting on the products that I know and trust and love and the ingredients that are in Skin and Me that maybe these would be, like they're literally right at the end now. I don't know if you can tell, but they're just more like a bit of a scab now. So in the next day or so, you'll probably see in the vlog that they will just go now because my skin kind of just adapts better to spots than it used to because of my skincare. If you're not sure how Skin and Me works, I'm sure you do if you're one of my followers, but it's skincare designed for you. You go online, you fill out their consultation, tell them your issues and your insecurities, I guess, and where you want to make changes in your skincare routine, and they will put everything you need in your daily doser. 
I have a discount code with them. So my discount code for this month on YouTube is Sid9YT and you get your first daily dose out for £4.99. Making the most of my discount code gives you the chance to put it to the test. It is difficult with skincare because you do need to kind of use it for, I'd say a month is a good time. So obviously that's your first month paid off for just £4.99. It's not like you can put something on once, a bit like a a coat or something a jacket and be like yeah really like that because obviously you need to see if it works well for you but it obviously will because it's literally custom made for you but in case you haven't seen it as well you get your name on it which is super cute so i'll leave a link in the description box if you want to check them out and make the most of my code for this month nana no should have just gone down for a coffee because she was napping she naps so well on her pram when we're abroad it's actually quite overcast at the moment. I'll quickly go and show you. But I'm actually fine with that because in my old age, I've realized I can make the most doing other things. I think I might go to the gym. It's still so beautiful. I am pinching myself looking at this view. It just, it's insane. Oh, I can see them. <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. She's on sleep duty, she must have woke up because she said she's gonna go sit and have a coffee. Did she wake up? She's asleep. <laughs> that is so funny. Life comes at you fast, doesn't it? One minute you're enjoying your beautiful <laughs> adults only hotel. Next thing you're on a brisk walk. What's wrong? Trying to get your baby to sleep. I'm right here. This is the only thing about these travel prams, because they face outwards, I think she honestly thinks I've left her. I'm right here, baby. It's okay, you're so tired, look at you. I don't even know if you can see me properly, I feel like the light's behind me, but it's still overcast, so I've just said I'll go for a walk. I wanna get my steps in anyway. I don't think I'm gonna go gym, I'm gonna go for a really long walk instead. But Nan's back at the room, she wanted to unpack and sort her life out a bit. And this is just the five star vlog content that you're gonna be getting for now until the sun decides to come out. Also, there's so many big groups of like teenage boys. It's brought back a massive memory of when I was like 16 and I was in my first relationship and my boyfriend at the time wanted to come to Magaluf. Well, he did, he went to Magaluf for his first boys holiday. And at that age, you're just like, Oh my god, my boyfriend's going to Magaluf on a boy's holiday. Because Magaluf's like not far from where we're staying. We're like, I don't, I think we're in Palma Nova. Like I said, I've never been here before. But yeah, we're not far from Magaluf. So there's loads of like groups of boys and um, having their first boy's holiday. And it just <laughs> brings back so many funny memories. It just makes me die how when you're 16, you feel like life is so like final everything going on when you're 16 17 it feels like you're making be on end all decisions when really like they are the most minuscule parts of your life if you are a teenager right now and i know this doesn't apply to everyone but you will be in a position in your life where you think you're making the biggest decisions which in some way you will be as in choosing what you're gonna do with your education and stuff, which is obviously very important. But at the same time, life gets a lot more serious in your 20s. It's not that deep as, as a teen. If I could go back and shake myself and say, stop worrying about boys at school, it's literally not gonna matter a few years on. Like, trust me, I'm 26 with a baby now. Hear it from me, it's not gonna matter at all. If you're wondering if I got her to sleep, I absolutely failed miserably. <laughs> you were sitting up just now. What's going on? <laughs> you should be asleep. Can you say hello? Uh oh, say, so, Mommy, I'm slipping down this very slippery chair. Hi. Look at you, my crazy girl. Whoa. How are we? Girl, a few words. Screams when she wants to, though. In her little lemon playsuit. This is from Primark. I love Primark, baby. Oh, yeah, you say hi. Look how big she is now. People cannot believe it when I say she's five months. 
and your hair just keeps getting crazier and crazier no matter what I do with it. Every morning I spray, I really like the My Little Coco detangling spray. Uh, just because the curling custard makes her hair look a little bit greasy. So that's a lot more, just like less product in it. And I brush it all through and then as soon as she gets tired, she tugs on her hair. That's one of her sleepy cues. She pulls her ears and she pulls her hair. So that's what's going on, isn't it? We're just sitting in reception because the weather is still not weathering really, to be honest. So fingers crossed that um, that improves. If not, it's gonna be a very chatty holiday vlog to be honest. <laughs> Boat, 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 ocean's in a boat, boat, all day long. Nana, I've yes. not put you on the vlog yet. Say hi. Hi. No, to the camera. Hi to the camera. <gasps> ocean's in a boat, boat, boat. Do you do this boat. backwards? That's, the, that's, there, the front, that's the front of the plane, though. Oh, maybe oh, for I the purpose of the, the kid. Play yeah, the comes off. Oh. She's, you just know she's just going to eat that. She's got no taste on So we're going to fill this with water tomorrow. It did actually get a little bit sunny later in the day today. And we sat in it for, I want to say half an hour, no, to be like honest. Two or three hours. For some, some of us had to tend to our children. Excuse me. Do I look like I've got a little bit of... I actually do look a tiny bit tanned. I said that. You've got to I literally sat in the sun for about an hour though. I stood in the queue. I was stood in the queue for coffee for about three hours. Anyways, we're going to go and have dinner in the hotel tonight. Even though it's not all inclusive, it's actually just... Well, we're bed and breakfast. I think you can be half bored. But we did say, can we upgrade to half bored? And she said she didn't recommend she, because there's quite a lot of restaurants around. So we have been going out for lunch, but we're going to just pay to have dinner here tonight and see what it's all about. But Ocean had a really, really long afternoon nap, didn't you? She slept for like three hours so we need to keep you awake for a little bit longer before bedtime but we're gonna play your boat it's good because she can sit up but she does still topple to the side <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna get ready and then i'm gonna go for a no makeup night oh you look so pretty you look so pretty you look so pretty 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 Sun is out. That's all we wanted. That's all we prayed for and asked for. Blue skies. We even accidentally woke up at sunrise. It was stunning. We literally didn't even plan for it. I didn't realize the sun rose that late. Because we walked on, wake up like quarter past seven. Uh, half, seven. half seven. That's late for the sun to rise, isn't it? Half seven. And it looked incredible. Honestly, so good. And now we're just on one of the beach lounges, which is perfect for a baby. Honestly, I feel like obviously this is really extra, but if you can find a hotel with these kind of sofa beds, it's so much easier because I'm about to show you something that is going to blow your mind. Hello, you're watching me talk. I'm going to have to show you from a low angle because obviously she's in this and naked. Hi, my girl. Hi. Because we're in this, she's got shade as well. So it's literally perfect, isn't it? Isn't it, Ocean? And you're having the best time ever. She's got literally like this much water in it. She's kicking around, splashing. 
and then we're just chilling, sunbathing, and then this is the view. I think this is like, it's like 12 euros, isn't it? <laughs> wow, big girl, show everyone how you splash. Can you do splashing? Go on, looks like you want to say something. What do you want to say? Yeah? Yeah, good girl. This hotel is phenomenal so far. We are literally loving it. It's very simple and we're, she's definitely the only child slash baby here. I think it's because there's not actually anything here specifically for children, but obviously where she's such a tiny baby, she doesn't need like a baby pool. If I take her in the pool, I can take her in. And to be honest, there's sun lounges in the pool and they've got, it's got shallow water around it. So I took her in there yesterday. You're engrossed by what I'm doing, aren't you? <laughs> oh, but yeah, this is bliss. And look what I've got, a Fanta Limon. Cheers. Where's that smiley girl? <gasps> a boo. Boo. <gasps> oh, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I said I would go every day while I was here and it's Sunday. Ocean woke up so early today. So when my nan woke up, she took her down for a coffee and they're just gonna sit in breakfast and just kind of chill and wait for me to finish up at the gym. But Milka's giving me itinerary fives <laughs> and I think I've mentioned this before. So if you watch every single one of my videos, I might have said this before, but I hate Tenerife. I'm not saying I hate Milka right now, but the reason I hate Tenerife is because we just have bad history. Like, I don't hate the country, I just hate the weather. The amount of times I've been and I've literally just seen clouds is crazy. And yesterday was stunning, but we woke up and it's cloudy again. Maybe it's the time of year because it's September, but... Yes, it's um, bad vibes, the clouds, at the moment. It's gym time. I had a peek at the gym the other day, it's quite small, so hopefully it's not too busy, but let's go. Just addicted to the way you take the pain away, nothing matters when we're way out here. beginning for the day thought I'd show you trying to be a bit more confident and just embrace what's going on to be honest I posted on my story yesterday that I'll put it on the screen if you want to pause and read but in a massive nutshell I have been watching a little bit more what I'm eating take it with a pinch of salt and working out more I've definitely mentioned in the vlogs that I've been trying to do a run a week that's probably the one that's not really stuck to. I have one PT session a week and uh, one Pilates class. And in, I think it was six weeks, I've lost four inches off of my stomach waist area. And some off my thighs and I think off my boobs and bum actually, but each of them I've lost weight on. But the only area I really paid attention to was my stomach area, to be honest. I don't really want to be obviously losing loads of weight on my bum. Because she's barely got a bum as it is. But anyway, I don't really weigh myself. Uh, I know roughly what I am. Because you weigh yourself when you're pregnant. But uh, my PT was like, we need to track it somehow. So I took pictures of myself before. But the, you can always... I don't know. Naturally, we just like sucking in a little bit more. Obviously, you're supposed to just slump but yeah four inches off my waist and i can't remember the rest but yeah i'm on track and just taking it nice and slow like i said in my instagram post but this bikini is from matalan i love it i don't really love colorful things but i think this is quite nice this is like a bit of a masoni kind of vibe which i get asked all the time about my dressing gown at home my rainbow butterfly one i need to dye my hair when i'm home it's actually a problem is going on what even is that i head down and see what we get up to today also let me quickly show you this it's quite funny because my brother's an electrician he made us this literally could have just ordered a 
uh, adapter which I have with me but he just was like take this because it's so much easier and he just changed the end which I'm going to ask him to do for my projector at home because my projector is unreal but it's got a um, US plug point because it's I saw it from an American YouTuber so I need to get him to make me a US one <laughs> some little hair bands. See if we can get some little hair bands tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know if they Are you nice swimming? Look See, we got loads of like, like shops like the to at home. I know, but if it's supposed to be cloudy tomorrow, it's good yeah, to know we'll that we can... There. If it's rubbish, we'd go another day. If it's... Whoa, look at this. Oh, we could go another. Are you trying to crawl? Go on then. I'll try to crawl. Go on. <laughs> go on. Push your knees up. Ready. That's it. Now push Steady. Another one. So she goes forward. That's it. She'll crawl very quickly. Ready, steady. Ah! You slept so good today that you gave me enough time to finish my book. I finished Never Never. And I actually really, 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 really enjoyed it. What book? Buy a book. Oh, yeah, needs to buy a book. That's a good idea, oh, actually. That place first, right? I think I'm going to get back into my Kindle. Yeah, you should really. If I can find can... it. Joke, how good that, that Kindle. When did I get that? You got that for me when I, I was got like. One as well. No, but. That Kindle you got for me when Grandad was alive, I'm sure. Yeah, you so they like not like iPhones. I don't no, know. I got the other one. Why don't kin the company Kindle make a phone? Because they seem to last forever. And also, I've got the other one. I can't yeah. throw them away. Why would you get them out? Because <sighs> really, that's like I have an iPad that's engraved that I can't get rid of, I know. and I don't even know if I've got the charger for it anymore. Happy, it says happy 18th birthday. I know. Love from Nan and Grandad yeah, on the back. Like You'll be sorry if you didn't keep it. I've probably got the charger somewhere. Has she got to do anything before she goes out? Okay, I'm gonna get her changed. Do you wanna have a shower? So can just wash Shall we just shower down? you? Oh! Right. Oh! <laughs> but I rated eight out of ten, and there were some unanswered questions at the end, um, which I get why people don't love the book. Well. I don't know, I, did, I really enjoyed it. Most people messaged me like, I got halfway and I couldn't get any further with it. But no, I really liked it. And tonight, we are literally doing what we did last night, which is literally nothing. As in, just going to the hotel restaurant, just because the walk down to the town, well, not even the town, it's like the beach, is quite long with um, a pram. And also, the weather's been raining a lot today. So, we don't want to get stuck in the rain. And this one's getting a bit agitated with me and trying to grab the camera. Eh, eh. The outfits of the night. Nan, this is your five second warning that you've got to do your outfit in a minute, okay? No way. So, Ocean, always the star of the show. This is one of my favourite little outfits of hers. We actually have it in two sizes. So when she's grown out of the this one, then we've got the size up. And this is a little jumpsuit from the White Company. It's like a really pale pink. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And then this set I'm wearing is from the Couture Club, I think is, is how you say it. Is that how you say it? And then I've got on a top short bandeau, which is on backwards because I've got foundation all down the back. And then I don't really have accessories that go with green, so I've gone for black tonight. So I've got on the trusty Ego sandals and then YSL Hobo. And then jewelry is my new Nima Row, my normal necklaces, and that's about it. Is that good? Mama do good job? Mama do good job? What accessories are you wearing? What dummy are you gonna wear tonight? Pink one? <laughs> yeah. All black, all black shoes. Where's it from? What's the name of the um, game? What's that shop called? 
where we bought your white shirt that time? The Noir? Yeah, Noir. Okay, Noir. Noir. That's a little boutique, so no one's going to be able to get that. Noir. Yeah. And then you get old trusty sandals. Yes, to make me a little bit taller because these are long, long legs. Stunning. Another day in Mallorca where it's pretty overcast. So we've made the executive decision to head into Parma. It is actually quite late, it's nearly two o'clock. So we're gonna grab some lunch while we're there and let you know what Parma's like because I've never been and I think it's the city here. Well, it's very dark, quick outfit check. I've got my bikini on underneath because I did actually go out into the sun earlier. Uh, my top is Uniqlo, love these tops. Shorts are H&M, Ego, LV. And I'm just putting all my gadgets in this little pouch that Cass's mum got me for my birthday. Coming, have you got a key? Thank you. Yes, I've got three. Oh my God, my phone. Have you got um, the key? have found the best viewing spot of the rooftops I'll insert it in Parma and we are literally in a coffee shop at the top of a department store <laughs> that is literally it we've stumbled upon it because Nam was like do you want to go for a coffee quick because I basically wanted to get a cleanser and there's a little Sephora downstairs it's literally the smallest one I didn't even end up getting anything from Sephora I just got a quarterly cleanser from their just their beauty counter here and yeah we've come up here and the view is insane people are literally coming up here and then coming out where we're sitting just to take pictures of the view and we're just looking over it stumbled stumbled upon it hidden gem also when we we walked in mcdonald's earlier and we sat outside and a bird pooed on ocean's pram and it dripped onto her outfit and I've worked it all off, but she I obviously need to change it. So I obviously also had to get some, like something new for her to put on. So I've just got these little packs of vests because I forget it's obviously autumn, winter, everywhere in the world right now. Even though it's so hot here, I guess the people that live in Spain are climatized to the temperature and they still are shopping for autumn, winter. So there's not much summery stuff in the shop. And then I saw this cute little, baby girl as well i couldn't resist i just think this is so cute it's got a little pastel rainbows and clouds all over it and it's like a velour which i don't normally like but i just thought it's really really cute so i got it in the size that will fit her around winter time so it'll be nice and warm and i got a few other bits as well in the shop which i'll show you a little bit later but we are just enjoying our iced coffee ocean's having a little bit of milk and I, we got her her first sippy cup, which my nan has been dying to get her. She talks about it all the time. She's like, please can we get her a sippy cup? I'm like, she's not old enough, but this is for four months. Um, this is the brand, never heard of it. We finish up here and then probably head back. It's about a half hour drive back to the hotel. And then chilled night tonight, I think. What about you? Wait, do you want to get food before we go home? Mm. Yeah, true. Good yeah, idea. She has been good, really good. She had such a long nap. We literally had a shop. Oh yeah, I can show you. I got some bits of Zara as well, because obviously I bought out all Ocean's formula. <laughs> when we go home, I've got a lot less weight, so I can make up for it with shopping. So I'll show you when we get back. What a crazy girl! He's slipping all the way under. Should we sit you up? Oh, he's slipping all the way out. It's a shame because I never remember all these bits. I mean, you don't remember things when you're young, do you? Everything and make it all exciting, and I don't remember it. So good. So good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. When do you? Yeah. Is it in there? Do you love it in your barfy? In the barfy. And just like that, it is the last day, and thank God the sun is out because <sighs> the weather. I know I keep saying it, but the weather's been so bad. There was a really bad thunderstorm last night, 
probably the worst thunderstorm I've ever encountered. What should I put you on, on here? On the book that's literally fell apart. God, the thunderstorm was so bad, it literally kept me away. Um, really quickly, I'm gonna show you what I got in Zara the other day. There's probably like five things in here, so it won't take long. I copied my name, she picked this up. Just this, I, can, I guess I can put this on. This little sarong thing I've got on, by the way, is Zara from like last year. This striped shirt, if I can find the links, I will put these in the description. But autumn, winter, a nice striped brown shirt. To be honest, shirts like this I keep year in, year out, even for holidays, but over bikini and stuff like that. Oh, this isn't, this is for Ocean. This cute little two piece. I don't actually have loads of stuff for the age she's in at the moment. She's kind of in between sizes, she fits in quite a lot of six to nine months which is what I bought this in and also three to six months but she's getting to the end of fitting and stuff like that oh, I can't believe how quick time goes it's actually scary this cute little brown oh god I guess I can pretty much try everything on brown cardi which I thought would be really cute with some jeans it's got like black trimming very simple my style is going to look more simple i don't know if anyone's noticed or anyone cares but i'm more going for timeless oh that's literally all i have <laughs> one more thing yeah timeless pieces instead of trend things that are just like in fashion for that 10 seconds i have a black bomber jacket from zara and every time i wear it someone asks me where it's from and I got it from Zara like five years ago. So I saw this and I was just like, wow, I love this kind of gray color. This, I will get so much wear out of this. I'm excited for this. And in case you didn't know, I had to remind my nan because she was like, why don't you get all this when you're home? Zara is a little bit cheaper in Spain because it's Spanish. So I actually added up how much all these, I would be saving with all these. And I was gonna save like 50 pounds by getting all this whilst I was away. So that is why. I, don't know. I probably could have got more but obviously I need to get it all in my case home but luckily because Ocean she's like all oh, her formula we have got quite a lot of weight to play with that is my little haul and I'm going to go down and enjoy the sun for the last day and then that's pretty much the end of the vlog I don't think we're going to be doing much else today so I might just wrap this here thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed I feel like this was maybe a bit of a downbeat holiday vlog but i'll be honest the weather has been so bad it's kind of took the holiday out of the holiday we've had a really nice week nonetheless and it's been really nice i've literally took no content as in like pictures or anything for instagram i've just been looking like this i think i've put on makeup once maybe twice and it's been a really nice change to just kick my legs up and relax because i normally treat every trip as an opportunity to get content and work as well but thank you so much for watching i feel like i don't even look tan either <laughs> but back to 50 on your face don't burn your face which reminds me don't forget to check out skin and me i'll put the link in the description box make the most of my code i will leave my discount code all the information on the screen and i hope you guys have a great week i will see you in my next one i promise we're gonna go back to normal vlogs for a little while there's no more trips for a while <laughs> bye guys <laughs>